iPhone 14 Pro Max, one of the most premium smartphones that Meron ni Apple for last year. And I know that this phone really is something na lahat tayo gusto natin hawakan. And binili ko tong phone na ito personally as a Christmas gift for myself. And hinabol ko talaga ang dark purple color. And of course, thanks to our friends uh, Beyond the Box, uh, BGC, for reserving this unit for me. Tara, simulan natin with a quick unboxing. So hi guys, I'm Pansi Richman, Gadget Psychic, and welcome back to my channel. So, ito ang quick unboxing ng iPhone 14 Pro Max. Finally guys, I get my hands to unbox the all-new iPhone 14 Pro Max. So, hinantay natin tong phone na ito, ang color purple. Dahil ito ang unang color na naubo, so we have to wait for the color to arrive. And of course, a quick shout out to our friends from Beyond the Box for helping me reserve this color purple para may unbox ko dito sa channel natin. Simulan natin. And so, kita natin, the box is really nice. Okay, so this time around, uh, well, nothing new. Dahil manipis naman talaga mga box ng iPhone dahil wala siyang charger. And so, this is the regular price of the iPhone 14 Pro Max. But I was able to get it at a lower price during the Christmas sale. Buksan natin. Ooh. Sabi ko sa inyo guys, eh, the purple is really the color of the year sa 2022 and even sa 2023. So, now I know bakit ito pinagkakagulo na color. So, probably yung kanyang uh, finish na yung pagka-purple niya, no, is not really that normal. Well, medyo kaakit-akit na ganang color. So, that's probably one of the reasons bakit ang bilis mabos ang color na ito. Taking out of the box, kita natin na the color, I really like it. So, if makita nyo sa mga stores, no, try to take a look, good look at it sa mga beyond the box store, sa mga malls. So, pipil off lang natin yung screen. So, this is the first time na nag-integrate si iPhone na 48MP na camera sensor. Apple logo is at the back. Sa ilalim, meron tayong loudspeaker, lightning port, and of course, ang kanya microphone. On top, I can say it's pretty clean. On the side, ringer toggle, volume rocker, of course, SIM tray, which can support one 5G SIM. And of course, kabilang side ka ng power button. Other things inside the box, we have your Type-C to lightning cable. Definitely walang charger. Some warranty cards. And of course, ang Apple sticker. So, sundutin lang natin siya. And true enough, is a nano SIM lang ang pwedes kanya. So, boot up natin siya for the first time ever. This is the Apple logo. So, kita natin do, ang pagpasok mo, it's not the typical white screen na nakasulat hello. Ito ang kanyang color. So, minatch na dito sa box. So, kind of creative this time around. And like any iPhones na mabibili nyo, this one doesn't come with any charging brick. So, well, nakakuha tayo nito from Momax. It's a PD na 20 watts charger. It's very small, very handy, and ang lang, ang dali lang ilagay sa inyong ano, no, bulsa kung gusto nyo bitbitin to, lagay sa inyong bag. And this one is really fast to charging, lalo for my iPhone 14 Pro Max. Check it out sa aking description box below. Eh, ano masasabi mo sa design ng iPhone 14 Pro Max? Well, for the design category, masasabi ko sa inyo itong phone na ito, well, looks like an iPhone. Well, ang itsura niya is nothing really fancy it still looks the same as almost the same sa iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now, uh, this one is a little bit heavy at 240 grams. And to be honest with you, itong dark purple color, really, this is something. Now, this is a new color na nilabas si Apple. And ito ang pinakamabilis na sold out na color. And I love the color. Siguro dahil Lakers fan ako. And the color really does stand out for a new iPhone. Probably, it's one of the trademark na masasabi mo na hawak niya is at iPhone 14 Pro Max. Kasi ito lang series na meron dark purple color. For the other colors, baka pwede pang pagkamalan na iPhone 13 Pro Max ang hawak ninyo. Eh, kamusta naman ang feel mo dito sa phone na ito? For me, ang design ng phone na ito is probably just enough. Probably the only thing na hindi ko magawa dito is to use it for one-hand texting. Dahil medyo hirap ako abutin edge-to-edge. -edge. Medyo hindi abot ang aking daliri. But nevertheless, itong phone na ito is just simply perfect para sa akin. And itong phone na ito is being powered by the A16 chip ni Apple. Probably one of the most powerful chip na meron ni Apple ever. And ang score na dito sa Antutu is a whopping 943,000 points. Now, I can say na itong phone na ito was able to perform really uh, smoothly. Siguro nung naka-iOS 16.1 siya, mafeel ko may kunting glitches siya. Pero nung nag-update siya sa iOS 16.2, mas smoother na ka experience There are times na may some apps na nag-crash kunti, uh, like Spotify, nagka-crash siya. But after ng update, no, I can say it was a lot better since I've been using this already for a month. 
Siguro the past three weeks was good. But yung first week, I can say na medyo nafe-feel ko may mga glitches talaga dito sa phone na ito. But thanks to Apple, mabilis naman nila na patch up ang mga problema dito sa phone na ito. Giving me a better and smoother experience throughout the past three weeks. Probably one of the new things dito sa phone na ito is the Dynamic Island. I'm pretty sure na napanood nito sa ibang tech reviewers. And the Dynamic Island, there's just a couple of uses na parang minamas ni Apple no, para hindi halata yung notch na yun. For example, nagpa-play ka ng Spotify, kung i-close mo siya, makita mo pupunta siya dito sa Dynamic Island. Especially when you're playing the music, then pag-click mo dito sa ibabaw, babalik uli yung app kung saan ka nag-take off. Now, one of the things na napansin ko dito na may glitches, siguro hindi pa napapatch up ni Apple no? when you're downloading files or when you're downloading apps from the App Store. Nagda-download nga siya, but kung namatay ang screen, nag-lock, hindi na matutuloy. Makikita mo pagbalik mo, eh, parang nawala yung download mo. Where in fact, nag nakatop siya. Dapat naka-on ang screen mo while you're downloading. Siguro yun ang probably one of the downside na itong iOS na 16.2 na hopefully mapatch up nila sa iOS 17 or beyond. I do hope na mapatch up nila yun. No? For me, it's a little bit irritating nga lang when you're a iPhone user na, well, of course, kung nagda-download na 1GB file, iwanin mo lang sa gilid, then kung nag-screen off siya, pagbalik mo, hindi pala natapos. Medyo frustrating. So tingin mo, nag-improve ba ang display ni iPhone 14 Pro Max? Well, si iPhone 14 Pro Max still probably has the same screen. It has a Super Retina na XDR na OLED na LTPO siya. Then 120Hz of screen refresh rate, support din na HDR10 and of course Dolby Vision. Na kanyang maximum brightness, it's 2000 nits. Quite, quite bright, no? 6.7 inch ang kanyang display with a near 90% na screen-to-body ratio. Well, thanks and impis ng kanyang mga bezels, but no thanks sa kanyang uh, dynamic island, which takes away a lot of space, especially when you're watching videos. Ang screen nito is covered by ceramic shield glass. Ang frame siya made out of steel, and of course, ang likod niya is, well, glass finish. What I like really dito sa likod niya is matte finish. So definitely, wala siyang fingerprints na kumakapit dito, which is definitely nice. Now, mga camera modules na dito is protected by sapphire glass. Now, one of the best experiences dito sa phone na ito is to browse your social media like Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. Ang sarap ng gamitin dito, no? Smooth and transition dito, especially when you're scrolling. I don't feel any... Yung, parang nabibitin yung screen mo, no? Pag nags-scroll. Sobra siyang smooth. Nasa 120 hertz na ng screen refresh rate. And when I'm watching my favorite videos dito, sa YouTube, sa Netflix, sa Disney+, Plus, it's really nice. Smooth siya. And I can see ng display niya. Yung black is blacker. Sobrang satisfying manood dito, no? Especially pag HDR10, makikita mo halos true to life ang mga pinapanood mo dito sa phone na ito. Now, pagdating naman sa gaming experience dito sa phone na ito, I did play a couple of games like Call of Duty Mobile and Tower of Fantasy. Both games are quite smooth. Okay experience dito. And I was able to play mga 2 to 3 hours dito non-stop. And it was really nice. Dahil sa kanyang 120Hz screen refresh rate, it was really nice. Especially dito sa Call of Duty Mobile. No? I can say na yung gunshots mo, yung sounds dito sa phone na ito, Quite immersive, ah. I'm really impressed with the sounds dito na reproduce ng kanyang steer speaker. And when I'm playing Tower Fantasies on normal mga Android phones, sometimes of feel mo na nagkakaroon pa ng frame loss. Ito halos parang wala akong nakita, wala akong napansin, ah, personally, na, well, nalalag, nagpa-frame drops dito sa Tower Fantasy and nilagyan natin sa high settings. I was, I was impressed. Ang kanyang gameplay was really smooth. Uy, mukhang okay sa gaming yan, ah. Eh, kamusta naman ang sounds? Ang kanyang sounds, well, from, for me, it's quite okay. Ma dahil meron siyang studio speaker dito sa phone na ito. And the gameplay was quite immersive. Ako personally, na-impress ako sa reproduction ng sounds dito sa phone na ito. Especially when you're listening to Spotify, okay, immersive lang kanyang experience. But, meron ako si-share sa inyo something that would make your sound tripping dito sa iPhone 40 Pro Max a lot more immersive. And I'm talking about the Apple AirPods Pro na second gen. And gamit ko to, no? sinabay ko siyang gamitin together with my iPhone 14 Pro Max. But before that, check mo muna itong quick unbox. Now, I have here is the Apple AirPods Pro 2. This is the second iteration netong AirPods ni Apple. And this one is a really nice device kung meron kayong iPhone or Android device. Wala naman problem, no? it's easy to pair. 
And if you like simplicity, I think this one is the one to go to. And the natin to is uh, beyond the box, and this is the regular selling price. And you can catch it at a sale price, lalo sa mga sale. Kusa natin. So kita natin it's designed by Apple in California. The usual packaging. We've got some documentation over here. The AirPods Pro itself. Further inside the box, you have a C to lightning cable, and of course, some extra tips. Ang by default. Ang medium ang naka-attach dun sa AirPods natin. Tanggalin na natin yung wrapper. It's very premium. So we have our charging port dito sa lalim. Dito is pang hook ng uh, straps natin, no? And dito sa harap is the LED light. Pagbukas natin, makita mo iilaw siya. Ready for pairing. And paglabas natin ng buds, this is how it looks like. Very simple. Sobrang gaan niya sa kamay. And well, honestly, I like the design this time around. It feels like uh, very premium. Ito ang kanyang touch sensor. And this one is used for noise cancelling. And kita natin itong dalawang silver na strips. Yan ang kanyang charging terminals. And like I said, by default, this is a medium na tips. How it looks like when it's turned around 360. Ganda, no? It's very premium looking. So, i-pair muna natin sa ating iPhone 14 Pro Max. Ang liit lang niya, no? After mo unbox Halos palm size lang siya. Pwede mo isara sa inyong palm. Really small. And what I like about this one is ang dali niya i-pair sa Bluetooth 5.3 ni iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now, the Bluetooth 5.3 has a big improvement over the si 5.2. Now, it goes the distance. And what I like about dito sa connectivity niya, no, sobrang smooth ang kanyang connection. What's nice dito sa kanya is pag pinap mo ang AirPods Pro 2, lalabas na agad siya dito sa iyong screen. Once connected, makita mo lahat ng battery na information dito on your phone. Now, what's nice dito sa AirPods Pro 2 is sobrang simple lang kanyang design. I really love it. Dahil na kanyang noise cancelling mode pag nasa labas ako on the train station, on the, uh, on the airport, or on the bus station, Pag gamit ko to, no, halos wala ka marinig na noise sa iyong paligid. Which definitely is okay para sa akin. Then, another good thing din dito sa kanya is transparency mode. Hindi mo na kailangan tanggalin like this one. All you need to do is just turn on yung transparency mode. Hawakan mo lang gilid na dito just to activate the transparency mode. Just the same way how you activate the noise cancelling mode para marinig mo ang mga, iyong mga kausap mo. Para wala kang suot, no? parang, tumata, parang tumagos lang ang... Uh, usap nila dito sa yung tenga. And what's nice dito sa kanya is meron siyang low latency mode giving you really a rich experience when you're playing the, your favorite game, watching your favorite movie, or just simply listening to Spotify. And based on my one month experience using this one, well, ang battery life niya roughly can give you a 16 hours to 17 hours na playback time on, well, normal usage, especially when you're uh, medyo babad ka sa gaming, no? This one is pretty much okay. And nabili ko to kasabay ng aking iPhone 14 Pro Max sa Beyond the Box. Link on the description. Kamusta naman ang ganyang battery life? Tumatagal nga ba siya? Ang battery life na ito, phone na ito, has probably one of the biggest improvement sa mga iPhones. Since this one has 4,323 mAh of battery. And support din niya ang PD 2.0 na charging. So it means na ito nabili natin na Momax na PD 3.0 is also supported. Now, charging itong phone na ito from 5% to 100 takes roughly 1 hour and 10 minutes. And support din niya 15 watts na MagSafe charger and 7.5 watts na Qi charger. Sa kanyang battery performance naman, ako I'm personally impressed with this one. Kaya na magtagal naman ng near one day. Siguro kaya naman one day on normal usage. Well, it's quite safe to say na mga screen on time niya, mga 7 to 8 hours ang kaya niya ibigay sa'yo. Itong phone na ito, no? And probably it's one of the biggest jump na improvement na on any iPhone sa nahawakan ko. And napansin ko kanya always on display is there. It's for them a new feature but probably for me it's nothing new kasi matagal na meron to sa Android. And ang feel ko no dito is parang dimmer lang na lock screen ang ginawa na dito. It's not really any always on display. Well, you can turn it on or you can turn it off. Depends sa inyo. It doesn't really consume too much battery dahil sa kanyang improvement na battery performance sa phone na ito. But if you're using this, siguro mga sa mga iPhone 13 Pro Max, baka mahiinis ka lang ang bilis mag-drain nito ng battery. Balita ko, nag-improve daw ang camera niya na. Pakita mo nga ako ng mga pictures. Aba, oo. This is the first time na mayroon 48MP na camera module si Apple. And ang kanyang main sensor is a 48MP na may OIS. Then together with a 12MP 
na telephoto lens with a 3 times optical zoom. Then together with a 12 MP na ultra wide lens. And of course, nandiyan ka na 3D LiDAR scanner na depth sensor. And the best na kaya na record dito is a 4K 60fps na video. And ang kanyang front-facing camera is a 12MP that can also record up to 4K 30fps. First thing na masasabi ko, I have really high expectation for this one. Dahil ang mga cameras si iPhone is probably one of the better sa mga smartphones. And normally, nasa top 3 naman siya ng DxO Mark. Bringing this phone outdoors, well, mga shots makukuha ko was really nice. Especially kung well-lit ang outdoors. Yung mga shots mo, mapapansin mo, no? very detailed, very sharp. Ang ganda ng resolution. Ang ganda ng mga details na makikita mo on every single picture na nakuha mo dito sa phone na ito. Tinay ko rin ka ng zoom lens from 0.5x, 1x, 2x, and 3x. And this one can zoom all the way up to 15x as well. Ang maximum ng kanya optical zoom is up to 3x and well, the rest is simply digital zoom. So sinabi ko, outdoor shots are really good. And dinala ko naman to sa indoor. And I was still impressed dahil ang mga shots na ito, no? on low light condition, I was still able to get in some really nice shot. I wasn't really expecting anything less from an iPhone. Talaga ng quality is one of the best pagdating sa photography. Now, if you ask me kung ang kind of 48 MP did give it a little bit more of a improvement, well, I can say probably yes dahil sa iPhone 13 Pro Max comparing together with the 14 Pro Max, I would say there's some slight improvement. Probably not a big jump, pero slight improvement definitely meron. One thing na hindi ko nagustuhan dito is when you bring this one sa night shots. Pagdating sa night photography, I can say ito phone na ito, well, did underperform. And mapapansin ko sa some, uh, some of my shots dito na night shots, the photo tends to be grainy. Well, wala naman siyang dedicated night mode dito sa phone na ito. So probably that's one of the down point dito sa phone na ito as compared sa mga flagship na mga Android which has better night photography compared sa iPhone 14 Pro Max. Checking some selfie shots dito sa phone na ito, well, I can say na dalagang maganda siya. Uh, taking some outdoor shots, indoor shots. It's really fun using itong phone na ito for selfies. And for me, pwede ka pa nga mag-record ng mga TikTok videos dito on this phone. Now, check some videos na record ko dito using 4K. Guys, so this is the camera of the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And right now, I'm recording at 4K and 60 FPS using the front-facing camera. And I can say the video is crystal clear. And well, what can I say? It's really nice. And this is probably one of the best phone for vlogging this 2023. And of course, the audio is recorded using the default microphone. What's your comment? Hit it on the comment section below. So guys, this is the resolution you'll be getting if you're vlogging using the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Recording a 4K 30fps up front here in the front facing camera. Well, it's iPhone quality. I can say it's really nice, sharp, and very much detailed. So I guess this is probably one of the best vlogging phones to start for 2023. And the audio is recording using the default mic, by the way. Check it out. So, ikaw, sa dami mong tinanong, ano phone nga magamit mo? Ako? Naka iPhone 13 Pro Max pa lang ako. Ako, suggest ko, mag iPhone 14 Pro Max ka na. This phone has some of the improvements over the 13 Pro Max na well, might give you some better improvement lang na sa photography and user experience is better dahil mas maganda ang kanyang battery life. And there's some significant changes over the 13 Pro Max na mafe-feel mo pag ginamit mo tong 14 Pro Max. And kayo rin guys, kung gusto nyo malaman kung saan nyo pwede mabili tong phone na ito, I'll be linking on the description box below. I'll be doing another video of this phone after 2 months. Papakita ko sa inyo ang aking user experience, oh, lalo na sa kanyang camera and taking some more videos using this phone to show you guys na kanyang uh, long-term na performance when you're using this phone. Oh. Sasabihin ko sa inyo kung nafe-feel ko medyo nas, nagiging sluggish siya after 2 months, kung may napapansin yung mga problems. And kung may gusto kayong malaman, no, just pop it on the comment section below. I'll be glad to try to integrate it on my second video nito, iPhone 14 Pro Max. And so guys, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click the na bell icon para hindi nyo ma-miss mga future uploads dito sa akin channel. And so ako para sa Richmond, and you're watching Gadget Psychic. Watch out!